Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle aka Stitcherista here on YouTube and today, instead of my normal video, I'm going to do a flip through of the August 2022 Just Cross Stitch issue magazine. So I got this in the mail yesterday and there's a Christmas ornament preview. Yay. We all like stitching Christmas, don't we? Maybe. So let's see what goodies. Okay, this first design is very pretty. This one is called Summer Celebration. I like that. I can like something but not want to stitch it. <laughs> so who made this? Let's see. It is by Liz Almond of Black Work Journey. It says intermediate, probably because there is some back stitching and some beads. Okay. The next design is called Being Busy, and they spelled being B-E-E-I-N-G because it is got bees in it. And it is by Janice Lockhart of Cross Point Designs. And this also is intermediate because it looks like the bees are over one. If you look really close, let me turn it this way. So, yeah, it looks like the bees are done over one. Bees seem to be very popular in stitching. Okay, the next one is Fruit Slices by Erin Nori of Tangled Threads and Things. And this is like a fruit band. You know, you could probably too, you could probably even stitch that on perforated plastic or paper. And because you can bend perforated paper, you know what I mean? You can form it. So yeah, cute. The next design, ooh, I may have to stitch this one. I like this very much. It is called Hello Summer, and it's also by Erin Nori of Tangled Threads and Things. Love this. Love this one so much. And it's only 57 by 73, and it says easy. Now, what are the threads? Okay, they just used DMC. <gasps> is that not the cutest thing ever? I love that. Yeah. I'll probably definitely be stitching that. I need to mark it. I should have brought my post-its over here. I'll know. Okay, the next design is called Athenian Sunflowers by Krista West of Avlia, Avlia Folk Embroidery. For all you sampler people out there. <laughs> we know Okay, um, love this one too. It makes me think of Lacey, my friend Lacey. Um, this is The Beach is Calling by Amy Baker of Barefoot Needle Art. And they used a board. I really like this one. This uses Gentle Art sampler threads, but they give DMC alternatives. Look how cute that is. I love that. I should stitch that like towards our anniversary when we go to Ocean City because what I want to do is I want to take a bunch of pictures when we go because I want to print them out on my sprocket and put them in my junk journal. And that would be, this would be really cool to stitch and then put like pictures of us around it, right? Wouldn't it? Isn't that a good idea? I think it is. Okay, the next design. Sunday Afternoon Sale by Elizabeth Spurlock of Saving Grace's Fine Needle Arts. The next design is Tropical Sailing. Who is this by? By Amanda May McNaughton of Ardith Design. Lots of summery stuff in here. Well, we are in summer. I mean, at least if you're in the U.S., I'm glad I like two designs in here so far. The next design is Heaven's a Little Closer. This is by Gail Busey. This is cute. I like how they finished it in that little frame. I like the little bird too. Very cute. Oh my God. Seize the day 
boy, they are with the puns and the spelling. Seize as in S-E-A-S. Seize the day note cards because look at this. So this one says, you're a star. Get well soon instead of get well, I'm dead. <laughs> and you're totally awesome instead of totally. I love the well one though. That's my favorite one. You're totally awesome. I know. <laughs> okay, these are by Rona Nori of Tangled Threads and Things. Very cute. I'm having trouble turning the pages. Why? Okay, so remember, they are doing a quilt block series. They are on part four. And this one is Goldfinch. So I'm pretty sure it's this one in this magazine. Parts one, two, and three were in the other issues. And then there's the other two. They're pretty cool. They're very colorful. I like that. Yeah, it's that one. It, it showed on the next page. The next design I actually really like. That would This would be a nice design to stitch for the 4th of July. You know, I have to admit, I normally don't like the traditional 4th of July designs that come out. I don't think I've ever stitched anything for 4th of July. This I like, though. This is by Sarah Goodman Strobel. And it is easy. It says skill level easy. 50 by 67. I like that very much. Yeah, and what would be cool is you could even use like a DMC um, variegated um, for the red. Yeah, I like that. I'm so glad I like three designs out of this magazine. I talk like I never like anything out of here, and that's not true. But um, some days I sometimes I don't like anything out of the magazine. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So this one is Home Sweet USA, and what they did, so let me show you. This is by Barbie Lau of Twisted Willow Designs. So the one they stitch says Indiana, but they give you an alphabet so you can make that any state. That's pretty cool, right? I like that. That's neat. And it only uses three um, DMC colors. I like that little alphabet. I may have to just keep the alphabet, right? You never know. All right, again, flipping the pages, having trouble. The next design is Early American Liberty by Kristen Stolfus Clay. They are challenging me with these names. Yeah, I am getting my hair done today. My appointment is not until 1230 now. My stylist messaged me and said, I have to push your appointment back half hour. No problem. Which means I'll be there until 530 or 630. Okay, Christmas ornament preview. All right, so here's the preview. I will show them individually. Just by glancing, I'm loving this one right here. Looks like a bowl of candy. It says Mary Stitchmas. It's stitching stuff in it. Okay, so the first design, well, they, I'll have to show you. Okay, they do kind of show them. The first one is Bluebird Wreath by Tatiana Romero of Me, Maletta, Lila. Wow, that's a mouthful. There's the little bird. I got to put it in front of my face so it'll focus on that and not my face. All right, the next one is Just Hangin' Snowman by Kim Beamish. And this is done on perforated paper. Now, they stitch it on 14 count perforated paper. But we know that you can stitch it on any count you want. Cute. He's a cutie. Then there is Packing Santa Sleigh by Susan Powell of Laurel Susan Studio. So here's that one. I love the ornament issue. And the Halloween issue is coming out next month, July. I'm pretty sure. Can't wait to see that because that's usually my favorite one. Now, I'll have to buy that separate. The ornament issue is included in your Just Cross Stitch subscription, but Halloween issue is not. And what I'll probably do, I'll probably just buy the PDF from online, maybe. Okay, the next one is Poinsettia by Karen Bowen of KEB Studio Creations. I sort of like that one, too. I like those kind of designs. There we go. I'm like, it wasn't focusing. Then Mary Stitchmas by Kate Spiridonova. Again, the names. 
That's a cute one, though. I like that one. I think that was it. I think that was it for the ornaments. They don't want to give them all away, right? Oh, no, there's two more. Oh, I like that one. <gasps> Doreen Jones. Of course it was. You know how you can look at a design and tell someone's aesthetic? I like that one. I like Doreen Jones' work. I belong to her Facebook group. I like her very much. This is called Santa's Balancing Act. Look how cute that is. Are you kidding me right now? And then the final one is Oh Holy Night by Sissy Belly Smith of Gentle Pursuit Designs. Cute. I love the Doreen Jones one. The next design is Home Sweet Sampler Part 4. These are by Nancy Waller of FaithWorks Designs. So Part 4 I'm thinking is, yeah, it's these two down here. So these are going to be in the next two issues. And then those were in the previous issues because there are two more issues of this magazine coming out this year. Uh, 12 Days of Christmas Ornament Series, Days 7 and 8. These are by Cherry Parker. So you can find the patterns for Days 1 through 6 in the February, April, and June 2020 issue of the magazine. So here are the next two. I have never had a desire, to be honest, to stitch anything related to the 12 Days of Christmas. Never done that. But to each their own, right? That may be it. Yes, that is it. That was the last design. Now, what's awesome about Just Cross Stitch is they have this back page that shows you all of the designs in the magazine and what page they're on. So to recap, my favorites were this one, this one, and this one. So three designs out of the magazine, not bad, right? And then on the back cover, there are some new Mill Hill kits coming out. You know, I have to say, I am in awe. We were talking about this at the last retreat I went to. I am always in amazement how they crank these out in like all different designs. So let's take a peek at some of them. I really like the Northern Lights one. Look at that one. Some really cute ones though. I mean, look at the little doggy down there. The bird, a lot of people like stitching birds. I like that one, Santa one. And then there's some ornaments. I've never stitched a Mill Hill kit, but I can admire them. So I hope I either swayed you one way or another, whether you want to get this issue or not. Um, you can always get the PDF online. I actually, by having this, I have this and the digital subscription. I think the digital subscription was free. I can't remember. But if I ever like want to just print it out, I can just go and do that instead of, you know, taking it out of the magazine. So I hope you guys are all having a great Saturday. You know what? We are going to read this at the end of here because I don't think I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow. Okay. So Saturday and Sunday, this, this applies to. Today is also one of those days you'll never get back. Yeah, I mean, you have to live for today, right? You can't worry about yesterday. You can't worry about tomorrow. Every day has its own troubles. Okay. So as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and spending almost 14 minutes of your time with me today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.